My name is Daniel Hegley from Elastic.io and today I want to show you a simple integration from Shopware to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and here you can see our dashboard. You can see that I already transferred 15 data records today and you can see yesterday and the last seven days. You can see also the run log so we monitor basically everything and what I want to do now is um, is to transfer those five customers from here from the shopware backend to here in my contacts in Microsoft Dynamics CRM the use case could be that I want to follow up with some customers who bought once and I want to upsell them or I want to start a marketing campaign and so on and so on so we just press here to integrate Shopware to Microsoft Dynamics CRM, we just here press add new flow, click on the plus sign and now we can see all the different applications we can integrate for example Microsoft Dynamics Navision or SAP by design so and today I want to pick Shopware and here you can see the customers that's already correct and on the right side I want to pick Microsoft Dynamics CRM online and I want to sync the contacts. You can also sync the accounts, units, orders, products, and so on and so on. So I click OK and then I click on Next. And here you can pick your Shopware account. You can put, just have to put in your Shopware domain, your login, and your API key. The API key you will find under Configurations and User Administrations. So you, and then you click on edit user and here will you, you will find your API key that you just can copy and paste into our system. I already um, have my log, uh, login data saved so I just can pick it here and the same I do with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Here it's a little bit more complicated um, you have to get your Azure application client ID and secret. If you have any problems there, just contact us and we will help you out. And I already created my account here as well. So what I want to do now, just for demonstrations purposes, I want to just um, transfer the first name, last name and the email. And I can just pick here from drag and drop the last name to the, from the billing last name to last name and it will create a connection here. The same I do with first name and the same I will do with email. So that's it. Now I can schedule it. It's optional. Normally the system transfers your data around every three minutes but you can also choose hour, day, week, month and year. So now I click on continue and here you can see I created a new flow Shopware to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and now I start the flow and now you have to wait a little bit. It's, like I said it takes around three minutes but it's already created the, the it already transferred the data you can see it here five records you can see from Shopware it transferred five records to Microsoft Dynamics CRM with no errors. If there appears an error, if there like is a like one system is not responding or something like that, we document and monitor everything when an error happens. So you can um, basically you can see every day uh, like the data that wasn't transferred. You can you can see here normally, but now there was no error. So nothing is documented so now let's check if those five customers were transferred so Hulk Hogan, Edna Frank, Max Mustermann so we can here see Microsoft Dynamics CRM I will reload it and now you can see the date contacts were transferred you can see Harold Test Hulk Hogan here with the email and Edna Frank and that's pretty much it.
like that's how you set up a simple integration from Shopware to Dynamics CRM. If you have like any questions or if you want, would like to have an online uh, demonstration, just contact us on our website, and we will happy to we are happy to help you out. I hope you find this um, useful and interesting.